Hi there. My name is Mark Grayson, and for the past 17 years, I've been a pretty normal teenager living a pretty normal life. Until one day, I suddenly got superpowers! Okay, maybe a bit of explaining is in order. Turns out, my dad is Omni-Man, the greatest hero of all time. He's from the planet Viltrum, and he came here to help protect our world from any dangers. I've still got a lot to learn about my powers and how to be a true hero, but now, I finally got my chance to make a difference and show the whole world Really? This is your idea? Yeah, it's the perfect way to market my son. My subscribers will follow him and he'll get his own fan base overnight. It's a great way to get his name out there. I mean, let's face it, no one's gonna know who he is off the bat. Nolan, he's a superhero. No one's supposed to know who he is. Oh no, not the secret identity crap again. Wear the fucking glasses, honey. Viltrumites do not wear nerd goggles. Stop disrespecting my heritage. Well, maybe if you'd focus less on your Twitter follower account and more on actually being a hero, I wouldn't have to come here to ask for your help fighting the Monster of the Week. I'll just let one of those other bajillion superheroes handle things. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. We found the Guardians of the Globe murdered at their headquarters. Bodies mangled in horrible ways, with all the security cameras conveniently going offline while it happened. Wondered if you had any idea what could have done this to the strongest superhero team on the planet. Mm, sorry, I have no idea what powerful, destructive, and I'm assuming very handsome individual could have done something like that. Really? Because we keep tabs on every superpowered individual that shows up, and you are the only one who was MIA during that window. I was streaming some Genshin! Nolan, we've been through this. Uh, if something is wrong, you need to talk to us. Uh, sorry, uh, no time. I've got to go fight some civilians, or rescue some evil villains, uh, kiss a can of beer, and drink a baby. Pfft. Remember your therapy, Cecil? You sure you don't want to reverse that? You want to reverse that! Great. I get to have the roof repaired again. Just how I wanted to spend my Sunday. Dad, are you and Mom gonna get a divorce? Uh, a few bottles of Chardonnay and she'll calm down, but enough about that. Tell me how things are going down at the, uh, uh place you go to every weekday, uh, where people teach you about the world. The, uh, uh, the shooting range. School, Dad. I go to school. Oh, right, that. God, is it wrong that I keep mixing those two up? And things are fine, you know, grades are okay. I actually met a girl I kinda like. Don't get me started on Volume 8. It's changed things so much for when the series began in 2013! That's what'll happen when you get new writers. It's called progression, and it's what's keeping me interested. Man, I wish that were me debating awesome internet shows that vary in quality over the years. But it completely lost the spirit of Monty's original vision for the first three volumes! The first three volumes were nothing but anime tropes, clunky models, and a bully arc that single-handedly turned me off from the show for a whole year. Only reason I got back into it was because people said things got interesting halfway through volume three. Also, the Bumblebee relationship came out of nowhere. I feel like the kind of shipping should just stop. <laughs> Not so much a foot in the crotch, though. Uh, she was just testing him. A sturdy groin shows that someone's prepared for anything. And I think it's time we prepare you to be a true hero, with your very own superhero outfit! This here is Arthur. He's made the various outfits for many, many superheroes throughout the years. Oh god! It's you! How have I angered you? Have you come to finish the job? Uh, no, no, Art. I'm here to pick up that commission I ordered. It is done, right? Uh, 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 yes, yes! Anything to get you out of here as fast as possible. Um, Dad, you sure everything's okay with Art? Oh, he's fine. Just an old pro that I've worked with for years. I pulled him out of a crushed building, so he owes me a solid. He actually broke my leg pulling me out. They had to amputate. I've been using a prosthetic ever since. Every day I feel pain because of you. 
Yeah, it was back when I first started out and didn't know how fragile humans were. Uh, anywho, uh, go try on your new suit, Mark. I'm sure you'll love it. I've done what you've asked. Now please, please tell me we're even. And promise that you'll never come near me again. <laughs> no, I won't, Art. No, I won't. All right, son, you're looking really sharp in that outfit. Hey, Omni Dad, how come I'm dressed like Booster Gold? He's the only hero that DC doesn't care enough about to sue me over. Ah, crap, these guys again. You know them? Yeah, long story short, I kind of got drunk and destroyed their civilization. What? Uh, Flaxian whiskey is a hell of a drug, but hey, this is a perfect first lesson for you. You can go stop them. Me? But this is an alien army! Uh, I defeated my first army when I was in my 20s. And how old are you now? 320? 420? Uh, that's a hip number with the kids, right? 17, Dad! Well, everyone matures at their own pace. Your pace is just gonna have to be a little bit faster. Well, uh, you'll at least be here to help me in case things get too tough, right? Um, I would, but I have to go fight Homelander in the new Death Battle episode that's coming out. Gotta punch him right in his big, dumb, handsome face. Damn it, why is Anthony Starr so pretty? Okay, I'm on my own, with the odds stacked against me. But a true hero can rise to the occasion. I can do this. Dad believes I can do this. Time to go out and show the world that I am... Paladins form Voltron. Hey, jerkwads. You want a close encounter? How about you try us? All right. Put on a bib, because I'm going to Rex explode all over your face. God damn it. For the last time, Rex, change your catchphrase. Hey, it's branding. As soon as I say it, everyone knows I've come to kick ass. Trust me, that's not the kind of branding we need. Confirmed. Our last sponsor just left us because of Rex's catchphrase. We lost Frenchie Roll? Damn it, now my freaking membership is gone. Oh, don't worry, guys. My merch can make up for that. What merchandise? Duh, the t-shirts with my catchphrase on them. That I may have maxed out the lease on our lair to purchase. And now our finances are in the red again! I'll begin filling out our unemployment forms when we return shortly. You didn't hit the like button on my video. My dad is an airbender! <laughs> Casualties in the tens of the thousands and property damage at a record high. The city is still shaken up from the recent alien invasion. However, there is one slight glimmer of hope. One thing that can pull us out of this nightmarish feeling of despair. Watching this blue and yellow motherfucker get his ass beaten in the most hilarious ways possible. <laughs> Look at this guy! He's just taking a beating right now! Oh! <laughs> I mean, oh my god, is this dude for real? Hey, Ted! Well, at least they got my good side. Turn off the TV, honey. You'll be late for school. Okay, sure. But I'm still having trouble dealing with Dad being gone. I mean, we don't know where he went or even if he's okay. I know, isn't it wonderful? I finally get a break from his constant bullshit. I never thought I'd be this happy again. He could be gone for months or even years. He might never be able to come back home. For the first time that I can remember, I truly feel like- I'm home! Crap. Dad! <sighs> you would not believe the Uber call I had to make to get back to this dimension. Dad, we were so worried about you. What happened over there? Well, I wanted to clear up that misunderstanding in the past. Okay, good. So, I began negotiating peace talks with them. 
All right, liking it so far. But I felt a little peckish, so I had one drink. Oh, God, no. And I kind of lost track of things. I want photos of Spider Man, man. And if you guys ever listen to the Top Cat Pop Star, Hey, hey, where are all the cheese sticks, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that building there? <laughs> Dad! That was the opposite of heroic! Yeah, I've kind of got a restraining order on me now. I am not allowed back in that dimension. Lucky bastards. Well, who's up for Mexican food? Dry humping a planet into a singularity really builds up an appetite. So, yeah, that's pretty much my life story. You track me down, reveal your secret identity to me just to tell me about your seriously messed up family? Well, I figured if anyone could relate to me about super family drama, it would be another hero. Your dad is still light years better than mine. How come? He wears red hats. Ew, gross. I know, right? Well, at least you got the teen team. Oh, don't even get me started on the team. Alright guys, I'm gonna go meet up with that guy we met during the invasion and... Oh my god. You started the orgy without me?! Hey, blame Kate! She's the one who put on a furry video and you know how that turns me on. Oh my good fuck. We planned this and you jumped the gun again! This is just like when we met Martian Man a few years ago. Hey! Martian Man is a shapeshifter. He can satisfy all my fetishes at the same time. You show me someone else who could do that, and I'll ask them to join. Orgy Connect Standard finished installing, Rex. I have all the necessary updates to give sufficient amounts of coitus. Also into robots. Not apologizing. Oh my god, I need to find some new friends. Wow. I guess a team has its problems too. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't rely on a team so much. You know, give the solo career a try. Yeah. In fact... I think I know what you're getting at, Eve. By the way, if you ever need help with the hero business, feel free to ask. I'm gonna confess my feelings to the girl I like! That's literally the opposite of what I said! No time like the present! Gotta go! Thanks, Eve! Every freaking time! Why is every guy I'm attracted to a complete dumbass?! Ugh, I swear, if women did it for me, I'd totally go out with- Amber! Got a minute? There's something I'd like to ask you. Well, my podcast about the dangers of sequins and baiting and how to prevent them from possessing us doesn't start for another half hour. So sure, come on in. So, um, space squids, uh, you're... You're really preparing for a lot of stuff, huh? Hey, Murphy's Law. You never know when something bad will happen. Have you always been taking steps like this? You remember the alien invasion a few days ago? Well, watching that blue and gold superhero get beaten up over and over again just made me think. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he got his shit absolutely wrecked. Like, I've never seen anyone take a bigger beating than that. Okay, you've made your point. But watching him get the crap kicked out of him made me realize that I need to stay away from stuff like that. Aliens, robots, doomsday scenarios. Even superheroes? Oh, most definitely. Our world is dangerous enough, and I know superheroes mean well, and I'm sure they're good people, but I just feel being connected to a life like that would bring a lot of problems. Oh man, what would Dad do? Lie to her! It's okay to lie to humans, they're not people like you and me! If you say so, imaginary Dad. By the way, son, you still haven't taken out the imaginary trash. Chop chop! I guess. I'm not really looking for someone who's invincible. Well, you're in luck, Amber, because I am- Really? That's what you're going with? Yeah, I wanted to make a name that was both honest and unique. I meant how you lied to your girlfriend. I didn't lie. I just conveniently forgot to tell her information about myself that may or may not be important. Okay, but that's worse. Do you see how that's worse? Look, in time, I'll make her see that dating a superhero isn't all bad. Once I show her that I'm a good boyfriend, she'll warm up to the idea. Then I'll tell her. Oh my lord, this is gonna be a disaster. I would fart on your face right now if I were biologically capable. See, even an alien from another galaxy 
can see you're being a little fucker. Hey, my dad says lying is okay if you do it for the right reasons. You mean the Viltrumite? Screw that guy. I'm not listening. La 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 la. My dad is awesome. La 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 la. My dad is freaking cool. Your dad is a space fascist. Why should you like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell button? Because I'll punt you to Jupiter if you don't. Yeah, let me answer your question with two follow-up questions. Have you ever seen the rings of Saturn, and would you like to see them right now? If the answer to both is no, then how about you go down to the Patreon link in the doobly-doo section before I show them to you? I... Uh, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some jackass spoiled No Way Home for me.